All right, guys, we'll come back. Let's got, get our texture exported. So I'm gonna go grab the base color here and save this guy. And I'm gonna call this guy uh, Aris base color and save it. Uh, so after that, we need to also grab, um, I'm not sure if I really need to use the normal for now. So let's leave that uh, there. So back here to the eye white. I do want it to get the normal here. So this normal will be uh, saved. So this is gonna be the I white normal. And then scroll down to here, and that's the base color. So I white base color. All right, let's just use those three images for now. So I'm gonna go grab uh, the eyeball, I white, normal and i white base color and iris base color those three things and drag it into the content browser okay and then import them all okay and then i'm gonna grab all those and control s to save them all right now uh, the material for the eyeball is now lambert i'm gonna rename this guy to m underscore eyeball Right, and double click to open it. And then I'm gonna connect, for now, the Aries base color into the base color input. And then let's apply that and let's take a look. Maybe it's easier to see that on the plane. All right, so one thing we do notice that it's no matter where you put this image on, it's not, a, it's not gonna give you the effect of the refraction that eyeball have. Uh, to take a look at the diagram here, you can see uh, if this is uh, the iris, okay, and then you have the camera over here, this, this black circle, and that's the internal plane of the iris, and you have this kind of like a magnifying glass structure in front of it, right? That's the outer layer of the eyeball and that's the plan of the iris. And you have a ray from this particular point uh, reflecting light, right, going out. And then when it reaches to this outer layer, it got refracted and it goes to the camera, right? Let's assume there's, there's a light uh, going like this. So you can see, well, there are two things happening. One is that the direction of the light refracts. And then another thing is that uh, there is a depth between the outer layer surface to the inner layer, right? So that the actual mathematic is more complicated than just applying the image on the surface of the model. And we have to mimic that all using uh, some mathematic trick. And here uh, I have actually captured uh, the formula to calculate uh, this yellow ray. If we know the ray from the camera, we can use uh, a law in physics called Snell's law to calculate the direction of this, uh, this orange ray, which is gonna be the ray that travels through the internals of the eyeball from the iris to the outer layer. And the law was, um, well, this is actually a, a formula based on that law to calculate the, the, the refraction. So this, this V underscore refraction is actually this guy. Okay, uh, Snell's law is much simpler. It's gonna be the, uh, sin alpha of the incoming angle uh, multiplied by the, uh, the, the, the the index of refraction will be equals to uh, the sin alpha of the refracted angle times uh, also the index of refraction or either, uh, I'm not sure um, because I'm not a physicist, but I, what I believe it's gonna be this one, sin theta one times I O R two will be equals to, let me use my pen here, <laughs> equals to sine uh, theta two times I O R one. Okay, that's the formula. So this one equals to this one. Uh, of course, how do you prove it is a little bit more difficult because you have to think about uh, the wave of the light. Uh, one thing to be able to, help you to understand why it's refracting, let's say this is 
the normal direction of the surface, right? Uh, you can imagine like light travels speed wise differently, right? Between different substances, substances. And this is gonna be the internal of the, the eye. This is gonna be the outer, the exterior of the light of the eye. Uh, when light travels through the air, it's going faster. And when light travels through the internal of the eye, it's gonna be slower. Now imagine there is like a little car, which is the eye, and it has two wheels, right? And when it when it goes <laughs> when it goes through here, you can see this wheel touches the internal surface substance first, and it goes slower. And this wheel will still go faster, so that way that's why it's kind of like turning this way and goes there, right? That's one of the ways to understand, although that's not exactly what's happening, but that's the one of the ways you can predict how lights actually reflect um, on some extent. So let me just erase that. Um, okay, so we, we need to mathematically uh, kind of like using this model to, to fake with this, uh, this formula. Um, so this formula was actually derived from that formula I, I was read, I, I read down there before. And uh, the actual way to go from that to here is going to be a lot of trigonometry stuff. But you just have to believe me, that's what's going on. We're just going to use this formula to calculate. Uh, anyway, uh, so um, I think that's one of the things I want to explain first. So let's move on to the next video where we really apply uh, use the camera rays direction to calculate the direction of this ray by using this formula uh, instead of Unreal. Okay, see you next time.